now we'll start from this and we go back to this and we start. Like those 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 uh two <laughs> are is natural. Can I can I start by telling you over here you have to draw a column. Can we all draw a column here? Uh you cannot do it normal because this is a show question. Uh so those who didn't do uh you are self forgiven. Uh can I start by telling you there are two types of questions in the world. The first type is tell. The second type is show. Can I start by changing the question? You're not copying. Copy already? Ah, copy, copy. Now, for my lesson, uh, you notice that my screen keep moving. You have to copy as I write. If you wait until you understand, you realize that the next moment I swap the, I sweep the screen or I zoom in and zoom out, then you realize that you don't know what I'm writing already. Then you want to recall what is 10 seconds ago, cannot. So start. Yes. Uh, uh, quite a bit. So first, tell, uh, tell means the question will look like that. Can you write down question? So I go to tell, uh, tell say question. Uh, given that negative 2x squared plus 8k minus 10 is negative. Find the range of k. Can I? Are you writing? You are writing because I'm going to move away. And you need to ask me, oh, you need to write this, huh? can you write this under the example test? Uh, and you and you got to tell me which way you cannot read, because later on those who watch video also cannot read. Oh, thank you. So I got to erase and write range properly. My target this year is to improve my handwriting. It's my target five years ago. Still the same. Sweet, sweet. Just cannot. Now, so I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you the show question now. Show question is this one. So if you think it's confusing, you want to copy. Show that negative 2k squared plus 8k minus 10 is negative. Uh, I'm copying. Someone is talking. I'm copying uh, the question on top. Uh. So you have two types. This is two complete questions. In exam, the first type is three marks. The second type is also three marks. Okay. Let me tell you, uh, the second type is more popular because it kills students more easily. Is there a difference between the two types? Yes. For show question, for show question, you always have the word show or prove. Ah, this is the show type of question. The second type, ah, the first one, ah, there's no show one. They will tell you given. They will tell you nothing like show or prove one. So for the first type. Can I start with the first type? Okay. Of course I can. Who dare to say no? Okay. First type of question say given that Xinghui, this equation is negative. Can you underline this and write down this is nothing more but a line or a curve? Can you help me? Xinghui, stop talking. Oh, that's my fault. This is a curve, and can you explain in picture form, Kunz? This curve is negative. Can you draw a picture here to explain how a negative curve look like? In 10 seconds. Now, 10, 9. Everyone do. How to show me a graph? I, I start, I start, I, I, I refresh your memory a bit. I have an x-axis. I need a curve that is negative. 
In 10 seconds, draw the graph. Now, everyone. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. Rachel, is this a U or N shape? Very good. N shape. Because this is a K square. So K square means an N shape. How many of you drew this? Good. This is wrong because someone raised hand and another raised hand. This is wrong because because if I have the x axis, uh, y axis, this is plus, this is minus. This is wrong because my curve got a bit positive, a bit negative. How do I change the curve so that it will be purely negative? You all bluff me on, you are always all now, uh, then exam don't know what to write. You're always, wow, during now, uh, then exam tell me, sure, I don't learn anything at all. Eh. You're always, ah, now, uh, then exam say, sure, you never teach. Eh. You bluff, you never teach. So this curve and the axis got meet or don't meet? No. It's up. No meet means B squared minus 4AC is? More than zero equal to zero or less than zero. See, now can tell, huh? Exam cannot tell. Can you write down? Curve. Can you move your hand as well, not your mouth? Curve negative means curve no touch. It has already like nicer already, huh? Curve no touch the x axis. And it means I start with b square minus 4ac is lesser than 0. I want to pause here to let you copy because this is Matthew question. Uh. Matthew question is, is there a difference if there's an extra word say always or not always? No. Uh. Always or not always is just negative. Uh, so I start with this. Uh, whether this is capital letter B or small b, also no difference. Huh? So what is B? Good. So can you write down 8 square minus 4, negative 2, negative 10 is less than 0. I got problem. Uh, can I change the question? Can you change together with me? Uh, I got problem because, wait, uh, let me look at the question again. It's really like that. Okay, I got problem because there's nothing for me to find. Uh, can I use green to change the question? Uh, can I change it with X? This is X. And, sorry, uh, this is X squared. Now, like that. Sorry, this is wrong. Uh, this is also X. Can I pause the screen and let you... Alright, after you make the changes, what is B again? 8K squared minus 4, negative 2, negative 10, less than 0. Now let's continue. Uh, this is 64K squared. What's the answer here? Uh, plus what? 8, 0. Uh. Right, bigger. Uh. Is this big enough? That's the biggest I can go. Maybe I, I try the font size. Now, uh, this topic change back to inequality. Uh. For inequality, there is no way you can tell me uh, bring over then square root both sides because of the inequality sign. When you square root, then you have a problem of, do I flip the negative, the inequality sign? So how to solve this type of question? The only way is to factorize. 
uh, factorize in the form of. <laughs> I need to change the question again. No, I, I got a problem. I got a mistake here. Uh, so I don't change. I just correct myself. Uh, this is wrong. It should be minus. Uh, so my my mistake, my mistake, my mistake. Uh, uh, minus because minus four times minus two times minus ten got three minus sign, so the answer is minus. Now next, uh, the only way to do uh, is you need to factorize into two brackets like that. And in order to do that, uh, you have to have a plus b, a minus b. And then in order to do that, you have to have a square minus b square. Then you can have this. So you understand what I'm doing? You understand how I got two two brackets? Really? Which exam? Which exam? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, relax, 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 relax. Now this is the this is the reason why A Max students do better than E Max students because A Max see this again. Now continue. I'll come back. Come back. Come back. Now how to have A square minus B square? You need to be able to put into A something square minus. So this is wrong. I should be minus something square less than zero. The first one is easy. The first one is easy because 64k square is simply 8k. Hey, are you copying? The second one is slightly difficult because 80 itself is not a perfect square. And the only way is to do a square root. I don't care how this number look like. This number can look ugly. I don't care. Now, follow, follow. What pass pass already? Move on. Life move on. A square minus B square, my final answer will be A plus B A minus B. Move on again. From here, what do I do? I draw a curve with two roots. This is inequality, uh, nothing to do with always positive, always negative. Uh. I repeat, this is an inequality question, nothing to do with always positive, always negative. So don't tell me how come my curve suddenly, suddenly got positive and negative. This part here is crucial for your understanding. This part here, can you put down, I am now handling K, not X. You see over here on top, this is x. Remember, we started with x. Then we say that, oh, the curve don't meet the axis. Then, b squared minus 4ac is lesser than 0. Then, I write the value. Then, I'm stuck with k now. There's no x. So this k is a new question altogether. Can you follow? So don't make out the two curve. Huh? Now, how do I mark the two points here? What is the first point? Press calculator. Remember this one is equal to zero. Or this one is equal to zero. To so find the two two roots here. So look at me lost. Are you okay? Yeah. How to find these two values? No, I don't know. Yeah. Ming how to find this value? Yeah. No, I don't want the I don't want the answer. I don't want the three S F one. I want the third answer. So this one equal to zero or this one equal to zero, right? Okay, I, I write down uh, in case you don't know your look like I'm talking a uh, foreign language. To find the root, I need to let eight plus eight k plus root eighty. 8k minus root 80 is equal to 0. Am I correct? Then, 
I can write 8k plus root 80 equals 0. 8k minus root 80 equals 0. Am I correct? Then what is k? Negative root 80 over 8. k equals to root 80 over 8. The number here looks terrible because I invent the question. What about from this e less than sign change to equal because I just want to find the root. Remember SILT? When I want to find the root, I let this be equal to 0. Then X equals to 2 or X equals to 3. Then I can mark the two points here. I'm only interested in these two numbers. I'm not interested in the number here. No, 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 no. So this number I just plug and play and paste it here. Obviously, this is negative. This is positive. How do I read this sign more or less? Less than zero. Less than zero means I want which value? In between this value. Therefore, my final answer x is this or this. I haven't shown you the show part. And it's already past 16 minutes. Can I show you the show part? Matthew asked a very good question. If I got the clap sound, I will play the clap sound. This one should be K. Huh? K, huh? K. So this is the final answer. But this is not a question at all. This one is the final question. Can I show you the question now? Can I? Now, what's the joke? I can share now. Okay, ready? Uh? Now, ready? Uh? Now, this is a show question. I want you to highlight the starting step. I want you to highlight the starting step. Now, the starting step, the starting step is, I start with b square minus 4ac less than 0. Can I write the wrong step in black? If I start with b square minus 4ac is lesser than 0, in exam, this will be wrong, 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 wrong. You need to write down the wrong step first. Don't lick it off. Huh? You need to write down the wrong step first. Don't talk about it. Now, this is important because every time students see negative, I start with b square minus 4ac is lesser than 0 is wrong. Then what is the correct way to start? I, I tell you the big idea. The idea is, hey, can you tuck in your shirt? Uh? You look like a very ugly gangster. Outside. Start. Now, I, I tell you the idea here. You have to... Hey, hey, hey really important. Stop talking. You, really, you need to start with b square minus 4ac is equal to what? Then after that, you got to show that it is lesser than 0. This is what you need to do. Can you write this down? The, the line means the step. Like I need to do something to it. Right. Uh, equal. So, for showing question, you have to start b square minus 4ac equal. Not equal to 0, but equal to something. And then the something, you have to show, 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 show until it is lesser than 0. Nothing here will give you mark. Can I start with the actual thing? Can I? Now, now you feel question mark, so let me show you what I mean. First, so now in blue, uh, so this is the correct one. Uh. So now I start in blue. First, you have to write down 
B square minus 4AC stop talking is equal to Charlene, can you tell me what is B? B. Wrong. No, I think you're wrong. I never think you're wrong. 8K is wrong because over here there is no X. So the K square look like X square. The K look like X. This one no X. So what? Huh? What? Understanding. Understood it? Oh, good. You all like very scared of me. So what is B? It. Follow? Because there's no X behind. Ma. There's no X square here. It's just K square and K. So this one is just 8 square minus 4 what? Can you work out this number? Thank you. Still talking. If you do this for this zero mark. If you do this for this zero mark. I show you the answer is different. Now for showing question so summary yeah for you got a question, ask me, otherwise I'll school you. You must put equal, yes. For showing questions, you have to put equal. You notice that here, minus 16, there's nothing to find. It's not like K is less than 16. It's not like K equals to 16. So what you need to do? You need to finish off with the concluding statement. Ready? Yeah. Now, right now, see? Negative 16 is lesser than 0. B square minus 4AC is less than 0. Therefore, copy back the equation. Minus what? Uh? Minus 2K square plus 8K minus 10 is always is negative. I say good observation. I say you cannot put this at the start, but you must put this at the end. Confusing, ah, uh, confusing, ah. Uh. So this one must come out in the end. Copy this, and then I do a side by side comparison with you. Negative 16 ah, is No, not less than X. There's no X in the question. Look at the question. Is there an X alphabet there? No. There's only K. They don't even want you to find the value of X or K. They just want to ask you whether is it negative or not. Done? Done ah? Okay. I do a summary. Now this video itself is about half an hour. Those who don't understand really got to watch again. Now, ready? Uh, I highlight the summary for you. Uh. First, I use my new color green. For tell question, you need to start with... Someone is going to repeat what I say after this. For tell question, you have to start with B squared minus 4AC less than 0. But... For show question, for show question, you have to end with b square minus 4ac less than zero. So you still write, but the writing is at different place. Just to repeat. No, for show for tell question, you will you will start with. B square minus 4AC less than zero. For show question, you will you must cut equal, then after that you will end with B square minus 4AC less than zero. Is that clear? Okay. Now with this, I will stop the video.